I'm Jim Kamarowski, and I'm Vice President of Scientific and Regulatory Affairs at Nutrition 21. And I'm here to talk to you today about Nutrition 21's novel dietary ingredient called nitrosagene. Nitrosagene is a novel patented bonded arginine silicate complex. It's comprised of the amino acid arginine that's ionically bound to silicon in the form of silicate. To enhance the combination and binding of arginine to silica, inositol is present, and the inositol allows the arginine to be bound to silicate in a one-to-one -one ratio, which is extremely important in enhancing the absorption of both the arginine and the silica. Well, nitrosagene is much more than the sum of its parts in that nitrosagene is comprised of arginine and silicon. However, it's bound together. Through research, we discovered that by binding the arginine to the silicon, we can significantly increase its efficacy greater than each of the individual ingredients. Now, this complex is covered by multiple patents, including a composition of matter patent and multiple use patents. The safety of nitrosagene has been reviewed by the FDA as part of our new dietary ingredient notification. The FDA reviewed our safety data and in March of 2013 issued a letter allowing us to sell nitrosagene as a dietary ingredient. Nitrosagene has many health benefits to support consumer categories such as sports nutrition, men's vitality, and cardiovascular health. Well, arginine is amino acid and it's found in the body and one of its functions is to enhance um, nitric oxide levels. Now, nitric oxide is a gas that's released within the blood vessels that allows the blood vessels to dilate and increase blood flow. The nitric oxide also increases oxygen supply and helps protect, protect the heart and other organs. Well, one of the things we looked at was maximum blood flow. So under certain conditions, you may want to increase your blood flow when you're exercising, when you're running. Nitrosagene demonstrates superiority over arginine in blood flow markers. One of those markers we looked at is maximum blood flow. And in an animal study, we looked at the ability to increase maximum blood flow. And we looked at animals given arginine in the form of arginine hydrochloride and arginine in the form of nitrosagene and compared it to a control group. And what we found was you can increase blood flow in animals in the control group but to a greater extent you can by adding arginine hydrochloride. But when you gave the animals nitrosagene, again at the same dose of arginine, we saw significant increases, almost a doubling of the increase in maximum blood flow. And another blood flow marker is blood vessel relaxation. And that's a known benefit of nitric oxide. And in a preclinical study where we compared nitrosagene to arginine hydrochloride, again using the same dose of arginine in both arginine hydrochloride and nitrosagene, we were able to see almost a five-fold increase in vessel relaxation in the animals given nitrosagene. Nitrosagene is comprised of an arginine silicate complex. And one of the major components of this complex is silicon. Well, silicon is a healthy nutrient that is found in much higher levels in the lining of arteries of healthy individuals compared to individuals with cardiovascular disease. And what they found is the silicon in the lining of these arterial vessels lead to increased flexibility and integrity of the blood vessels. But one of the problems with silicon is it's usually very poorly absorbed and hard to get into our system. But when silicon is provided in a monomer form, it can be significantly absorbed and silicon is provided in the monomer form by nitrosagene. Okay. Well, we conducted a human clinical study to look at the pharmacokinetics of nitrosagene. So we wanted to look at how well absorbed is the arginine and the silicon, and over what period of time is it absorbed. And we also wanted to look at some early evidence of efficacy. In this study, we evaluated 10 healthy males and these subjects took 1,500 milligrams of nitrosagene on a daily dose. What we found was that subjects taking nitrosagene even after a single dose, we saw significant increases in blood arginine levels even after one half hour of taking the first dose. And those increases were significant at the half hour time point and continued to be significant for up to three hours. 
So we were able to show that nitrosagene was a bioavailable source of arginine, and those arginine levels stayed elevated for up to three hours. The other dietary component we looked at was silicon. Now, silicon can be poorly absorbed, so we wanted to confirm in humans that nitrosagene was a bioavailable source of silicon. And again, we saw significant increases in silicon at the one hour time point and one and a half hour time points. So we were able to success successfully show that nitrosagene enhanced arginine and silicon blood levels. So the conclusions of the human clinical study on nitrosagene demonstrated that nitrosagene was both a highly bioavailable source of arginine and silicon. And we even saw significant increases in arginine after a half hour and lasting up to three hours. Nitrosagene significantly increased nitric oxide levels, which is a key factor for increasing blood flow. With continued use of nitrosagene, these nitric oxide levels continued to build over time, which can lead to even better blood flow and vessel flexibility. Nitrosagene also significantly enhanced blood proteins related to vasodilation and heart health. Well, I hope you find this presentation useful, and we look forward to answering any questions you may have about nitrosagene. I'm Jim Komarowski, Vice President of Scientific and Regulatory Affairs at Nutrition 21. Thank you.